Thank you for tuning in to Pastor Raja's sermon to hear him speak on the topic, Forever Blessed Through Forever Access. Galatians 2.21, if I can have it on the screen, as the thought is coming. Galatians 2.21, I do not set aside in original King James, it says, I do not frustrate. <laughs> I do not frustrate the grace of God if righteousness comes through the law Jesus Christ died in vain if you say it is righteousness by my doing then Jesus Christ has become vain in your life if righteousness comes from the law by keeping the law by keeping ten commandments Jesus Christ died on the cross in vain and Paul says I don't frustrate the grace of God you know how to frustrate the grace of God preach law I can show you from Hebrews chapter 1 to chapter 13 amazing once you understand Hebrew you have understood Old Testament the book of Hebrews the key word is better there better covenant better hope better promise better sacrifice better 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 covenant in every way what Jesus did is better and what Jesus has done has replaced what law of Moses has given direction even the law has changed there is another law you are delivered from the law of Moses not to be scot free to do whatever you wish like no but you are into another law it's called the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that has set me free from the law of sin and death the law of sin and death is as a result of the Ten Commandments the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is as a result of grace and righteousness there is another law in operation it's called the law of faith we have very shallow knowledge of the scripture and we talk against script preachers who preach no condemnation not even understanding the scripture If you have conviction, as Sister Chitra says, you, if you have a conviction, you will die for that conviction. Otherwise, that conviction is no longer a conviction. If you are willing to stake your life on something that you believe strongly, that means you are having the fullest assurance of the gospel. Amen. Say praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Say praise the Lord. Shall I say something in final and close? Already it's quite late. With your permission, one final scripture. With that, I'm done. Are you ready? Okay, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10. Peter goes to Cornelius, the first Gentile. Acts chapter 10 talks about the first Gentile who gets saved. Acts 10. Till Acts 10, it was only Jews. Acts 9, 1 to 9. 10th chapter begins the new chapter. A chapter that has opened to the whole world. From Chen onwards to the last chapter of Acts, it belongs to us. To the Gentile, to the Gentile nation, to the church. So 10, as Peter goes and talks to Cornelius, he gives a great beautiful message. And 10th chapter, 43rd verse, he concludes the message like this. 10th chapter, 43rd, 43 please. Acts 10 verse 43. To him, all the prophets witness. To Jesus, all the prophets witness through his name. Whoever believes in Jesus will receive what? will receive what? Remission of? Remission of? 
you know the moment he pro- he preached and says hey gentile your sins have been forgiven you are righteous forever the moment he said that next verse happened verse 44 while peter was still speaking these words the holy spirit fell upon those who heard the word <laughs> if you preach the gospel holy ghost will fall he will fall if you preach the gospel holy ghost will fall don't mix the gospel that is why we don't see results of the spirit what you need to preach is to people is your sins are forgiven what you should not tell the people is God is still not still upset with your sins therefore repent that is not gospel what you need to say is yes you have sinned but the good news is Jesus has paid the price yes maybe you are not confessed your sins but the good news is that even as you bring your mind he is able to write his law when you preach your sins are forgiven Holy Spirit will fall today the church they will say come to the church come to the church no tell them that your sins are forgiven they experience then they come to church they will come and witness truly what he said is true hallelujah say praise Jesus amen are you there when you preach all sins are forgiven your past what do you practice I cannot forget what your mother said to me your brother did something to me I can't forget that all my friend God has forgiven he remembers the sins no more but here we are holding on and expecting Holy Spirit to fall I still remember what you did this thing to me whereas the gospel says he remembers our sins no more your speech and his speech do not match the moment holy God, the moment Jesus rose from the dead in John 20 verse 21 22 23 the moment he says receive the Holy Spirit you know you know what did he say if you forgive anybody's sins their sins are forgiven first thing he said that if you retain anybody's sins they are retained that means what it is in your hands whether to see the manifestation of the Spirit or not is in your hands if you still hold on to grudge if you still think about the past if you still find this is why I'm not promoted he didn't promote me he put somebody else who came after me before me Jesus also came after John and why he was before John I said something Jesus came after John but he was before John So why are we so afraid about he is promoted ahead of me? I will never forget this. You are holding those things and you are not able to see the manifestation of the Spirit of God. With signs, wonders, various miracles, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Which is that is how he manifests. And we are holding on the sins of so many years. We are in 2024 month of March 10th of March still thinking 2023 22 2019 2018 till 20, 1965 or even before that is it fair yeah yeah I am on hand say the person next to you I've understood the gospel Suddenly he moves from being a preacher to a pastor. 
Amen. Let's forget, forgive, let go. And begin to say, your sins are forgiven. I forgive your sins. Let go. See the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. He's there to witness to you. Maybe others are promoted ahead of you. Maybe they are, they are having a better villa. And maybe you are confided into a room. Maybe two rooms. Small, small. You know, when God has a thought, remember, Mordecai and Esther were planning for salvation. God was planning for elevation. Amen. <laughs> Amen. When you're saying, Lord, please help me from this problem. God has already gone ahead of you to promote you. Amen. Let go. Let go. Say the person next to you, I let go. I don't hold in my heart any of the grudges. I let go. No problem. I'm still earning the whole salary. No problem. There was a shake up on Monday in my life. By the grace of God, within one hour I recovered. Serious shake up. Serious shake up. But then the Lord, who is faithful to his word, has caused me to cross over. Amen. Amen. Don't worry. Do you think enough pastor is free of storms? Free of raging sea? Thunderous, thundering thing. He also has his own share. Elijah. Ella manidar galipola padulla manishan. No one is escaped. And say the person next to you, if there is no problem, come on, say. No pain. No gain. <laughs> no pain, say the person next to you. No pain. No gain. Ah. No problem, how can souls get saved? How did you get saved? Is it that when you were highly promoted that you, you accepted the Lord? When you were in your doldrums, you accepted Jesus. Look at your state. Problems are good. Say the person next to you. Problems are good. Pastor Mohan says, Nalla Nubhavanga. Say, Nalla Nubhavanga. Good experience. Don't worry about your past. Let go. And the Holy Ghost will bear witness Amen. with signs and wonders, Amen. miracles, various kinds, with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And you are the next candidate to receive from Him. Let's all stand up and praise God. Can we make this prayer? Yeah, here it is. Prayer to witness with the Holy Spirit to bring salvation through Jesus Christ. Shall we make this prayer, please? Everyone, it's a very powerful prayer, a prayer, the total summary of today's message. Can we make this prayer? Yes. Okay, those who are watching, I mean, those who are playing can also read that and say it loud. Maybe you can say after me. Dear Father, Dear Father I, come to your presence I come to your presence by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus through, the flesh through the flesh that was torn apart for me. I thank you, I thank you. for giving me the access to enter into your presence. Always, I believe that your will 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 brought down Jesus in human form. Jesus fulfilled your will by going to the cross. That at the cross, I believe Jesus died my death 
Jesus died my death and took away all my sins took away all my sins that of the past that of the past of the present of the present and that of the future and that of the future he has perfected me he has perfected me forever forever by his sacrifice by his sacrifice I believe I believe that through your holy spirit through your holy spirit you raised Jesus from the dead raised Jesus from the dead and ascended him and ascended him to heaven to heaven to sit at the right hand of thy sit at the right hand of thy I bring my mind I bring my mind as a slate as a slate and my heart and my heart as a tablet as a tablet for your holy spirit for your holy spirit to paint your thoughts and your imagination imagination today i am forgiven forever forgiven forever i am righteous forever righteous forever i am blessed forever blessed forever today i receive your holy spirit to be a witness with him to all people let great grace be upon me be upon me all the time all the time in jesus name in jesus name i pray i pray amen amen and amen hallelujah let's all put our hands together and thank the lord jesus Dear beloved, this excerpt is brought to you by GRGC Media. Trust you are blessed by this sermon by Pastor Raja. The full sermon is now available on YouTube. You can also request for the MP3 on WhatsApp. Also feel free to share your testimony on info@gracerevolutiongc.org.